Yo! What the Lick Read Exchange fam, it's your boy Matt, aka Ronan Infinite for Exchange. You feel me? We are here today with a cool little anecdote for y'all. You feel me? Just a little little added essence for what we got coming for you basically. Um recently we had just posted uh, mystery boxes. This is our second time doing it again. Um, we actually added vintage mystery boxes to the uh, go around this time. Um, but since we posted them, one of the homies up the road, shouts out to Kicks Boomin, um, they put a box together for us and they sent it down. Um, so we're gonna bust that joint open today and we're gonna see what heat we got for the low ski. So we can either flip or keep it for the closet. Let's see what we got. All right. So for this box, this purchase, it was valued at $500. We spent $500 on this box. It's got so much random stuff up in it. Let's see what the look like. Bow! Off books. We got the signature branded Kicks Boomin' Bag. Shouts out to the Tote. You feel me? They really did their thing on this. Um, Paisley hits at the top with the rope straps. A good canvas. You can't never go wrong. Good hits. I said the homies are kick boom. It's a really good way to start off the box. Eee, good colors. See that? Got the Jeff Gordon snapback. This definitely is vintage. Let's see what year this is from. We might not have a year on it, but um, you can see the hits of colors. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why. This is really hard. Ooh, and even though it's not vintage, it gives you that really fucking cool vintage feel. Shout out to Eric Emanuel. Uh, this is a Diamondbacks trucker with a little faded denim look on the front end. You feel me? Give it that Vintage vibe. Really dope piece. Cool colors. You can run that with a lot of the shorts. You feel me? You've probably seen a lot of people rock the shorts this summer, but Eric Emanuel shorts, he's been doing his thing, killing it. What else do we got? Oh, the king of fucking pop. What else? What else? Oh, mind you, uh, I did say we were doing vintage boxes. This is just a cool mystery box. It's not even, it doesn't even have to be just vintage. So this, they're putting some cool pieces together. We got an XL. This is coming home with me, just to let you know, guys. <laughs> Shout out to Michael Jackson. But um, Supreme, Michael Jackson T, XL, black on black. Can't really go wrong with that. That's a staple piece for your closet. I don't remember where you're in that drop, but you feel me? It's not vintage. It's fairly recent. Another T. We got a vintage T actually right here. The Just Bring It. Who the fuck said that? I don't know. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. The Rock said that. Ah, damn. I might get crucified for that. <laughs> I didn't watch wrestling as a kid, but I enjoyed it talking with the homies. Back of the T. We. Who are truly brave will never live in fear. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. The Rock just dropped the song with Tech 9 and that shit is trash. <laughs> that joint is crazy. I probably blew the fucking mic off though. <laughs> but yeah, uh, shout out to The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. He's a cool dude. <laughs> but his music sucks. Don't support that. <laughs> cool too though. Good front hits, a little bit of cracking on the front and back. But if you want to get your America on, that's where to do it at. Next T. So what we had two t-shirts only already in a bag. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, they, they give me a nice little value for that for that bang for the buck, baby. Okay. We got the Travis Scott Cactus Jack fragment collab um see that's Hiroshi Fujiwara he's the creator of Fragment you've been seeing a lot of the collabs with Nike he's been collabing with Nike for a long time if you don't know you should definitely check out the HTM line um it stands for Hiroshi Tinker and Mark HTM um it's a really cool little thing you find a lot of cool collabs and shit though but yeah Hershey T, nice cool color. I actually have this one. Uh, I'm not gonna take this one with me, but we'll probably put this in the store. Good tea to go with your Travis collab. And 
we have the last item in our mystery box. What do you guys think it is? Jordan 1, clearly. We don't know what we're gonna guess. Hey, okay. I wasn't expecting this. Um, neutral gray lows. They have a slightly bigger swoosh than what they had before. Um, I don't remember the actual year that they re released. Um, but yeah, they expanded the swoosh on those. Give it a nice little suede new buck feel. So it actually feels pretty really pretty good on these. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we took everything out of the box. Y'all seen it. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick recap so you can get an uh, idea of everything. Um, Shouts out to Kick Boomin once again. First item we pulled out of the box was the Kicks Boomin tote, Paisley tote. Next item we pulled out was the Supreme Michael Jackson T photo series. Can't never go on with those. Don't remember the year. It was within like the last five years, I think. Um, can't go wrong with good vintage, especially from wrestling. Shouts out to The Rock. Good hits on the front, good hits on the back. A little bit of cracking, little details up there. You can see that, you can see that. See it on the back too. But you feel me, ain't nothing wrong with a good little bit of wear. Other TV got Travis Scott, Hiroshi, Fragment collab. This recently just came out with the lows and the highs. Really good tea. Fragment is just tatted on me, so you feel me? Can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna get the snapbacks. Jeff Gordon, Arizona Diamondbacks, Eric Emanuel collab. Pretty dope. And then, last but not least, oh, would you look at that? I might have missed this earlier, but, um, the homies at Kicks Boomin gave us a note to go with our fire ass mystery box. Shout out to y'all, man. Thank you guys once again for checking out our mystery box and our video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're out of here.